What's up everyone, Danny Lightning and back with another Warrobots video. I just purchased 67,000 black market keys and Pixonic just added a bunch of really nice Titan pilots, Titan modules, repair amplifiers, all kinds of good stuff into these crates. We're going to open these up and see if the drop rates are good so that way you know if it's going to be worth your time to get any of these keys. So the question is how often do the good items come out of the crates? Well, we're going to find out, so let's start opening these things, and don't forget to like and subscribe. So there's lots of nice mothership components. You got Nessa rigs and Jude Price Titan pilots, plus a bunch of other pilots. I mean, there's a load of pilots in here. And then you got a few little odds and ends, and this is in the 100 chest. If we look in the 1000 chest, there's a bunch of weapons in here. Some of these are good, some of these are bad. There's a bunch of resources. Then you've got your modules. You got Titan repair amplifiers, Titan damage controllers, Titan grand balance, and then you've got your uh, immune amp and repair amps for your robots. So these are the things we want to see pop out of here are these modules, at least in my opinion. You may want something different, but that's what's really hard to get for most people. So let's see how this goes. Let's start by opening some of the 100 chests, and I think you have to do these one at a time. Oh, we just got a Titan pilot right off the bat, guys. We just got a Titan pilot. So I can open 5,000 at a time. It's going to open 50. Let's go ahead and do it. We're going to open 5,000. If you purchase something on the Warbots web shop, don't forget to use author code Danny Lightning, all lowercase in one word, that helps support my channel, and you might find some discounts over there as well. There's a link to the web shop in the video description. Thank you. Let's see what we get. We're going to do 50 openings here, and then we'll switch over to the next crate. All right, so pilot, pilot. Here comes another pilot. This may take a minute. This isn't going to be a short video, unfortunately. But so far, nice things are popping out, but not the things that I would really, really like to see. Now me, ooh, there's a trick to hope. That's always good to get. There we got a Fenrir pilot. Fenrir pilot. Yes, yes. We got an Eddie Knoll. That's universal. But actually, I mean, there's a lot of pilots popping out of here, which is good. I'm seeing more. Ooh, another Titan pilot. We got some mothership components. So I've seen very few mothership components so far. Surprisingly, there is hardly any mothership components coming out so far. It's all just been basic stuff. I mean, we got another Eddie Knoll. I mean, this isn't bad. I mean, 5,000 keys. I'm not really sure. You can earn that. You can earn that in a season right there. All right, so we got some mothership components that are popping out are a little bit disappointing, right? I'm not really sure how many items we just opened, but this is uh, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, man. So the good news here is if you're in need of pilots, you're going to get a lot of pilots, right? That's the good news out of this crate. Pilots are popping out like crazy. And there's actually less resources popping out than I thought there would be. I actually figured it would be mainly gold and silver and stuff like that coming out of here, but I'm getting some decent stuff. Not the stuff that I'm really looking for, except for I did get, I think I got two of the Titan pilots out of that, which isn't too bad, right? Yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. That's a lot of stuff right there. Now, the question is, do you need that stuff after it pops out? That's the that's the main question. All right, so let's go ahead and do that to the bigger chest and see if we can get any of those really awesome modules popping out. All right, so this is the 1000 chest. Let's go ahead and do an opening here, and then we'll open a whole bunch at one time like we did on the last thing. All right, give me something good. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me something good. And we got a Spirit Razdor. I'll take it. Those are cool looking. So let's go ahead and open like 50,000 of these. If I do 50,000, that's going to be almost all of my keys. So I guess we're going to do it. That's going to be 50 of these boxes. Well, let's see what happens. Come on, give us some good stuff. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we got a junky weapon that I do not like whatsoever. We got a trickster. Don't like it. Spear, it's okay. Ah, we got a Sinister Pulsar. That's a nice prize. We got Tiger Scatter, very nice. Ah, Kraken Vajra, good, good. We got a little bit of gold, can't complain. 
All right, we got another Tiger Scatter. Awesome. I love those. Ardent Hawanji, terrible. Freedom Hammer, amazing. Fainter, not so good. Boombox Devastator, awesome. What's next? Ooh, we got another Spear, very good. So far, these drops are nice. We got an Oxy, that's a nice drop. Scavenger Lantern, decent. Fulgar, not very good. Cryptic Redeemer, nice. Freedom Cudgel, nice. Oh, we got... Wait. I don't know. <laughs> There's also drones in here. I don't know what that was. But so far, we're getting nice stuff. So I don't know if that was a Reviver drone or a, 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 a Immune Amplifier, but it said Reviver on the Immune Amplifier. All right, so a terrible weapon there. Most of what I'm... Oh, terrible weapon there. Most of what I'm getting... All right, that's weird. Most of what I'm getting is nice. A few of it's junk, but the some of the names are off. Some of the names are off. All right, Spears. I mean, honestly, I can't complain too much about what's going on here. Immune Amplifier. All right, I mean, this was probably like $12, maybe $15 worth of keys. I'm not 100% sure exactly how much I spent, but... I bought like a $6 package, uh, a $2.99 package. I thought, bought three key, three key packages. One was like 6 bucks. One was 3 bucks. I think the other one was 3 bucks. So probably about $12, 12 to $15 worth of keys is what we're getting here. And I mean, I'm seeing a lot of nice stuff popping out of here. I'm seeing a little bit of crap and a lot of awesome stuff. Ew, gross. That was nasty. Freedom Scotty, terrible. Scotty's are terrible, terrible. Yoji, terrible. Solid Gauss, no thank you. Deceiver, yuck. Nasty, fainter, nasty. And that's about it for the spins there. And we're going to get another cryptic, cryptic, cryptic Redeemer. All right, so if you really look at what we just got, there's some really nice stuff in here. And some really bad stuff. I mean, some of this is good. We got three cryptic Redeemers. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, we got some Devastators, some Hammers. For the little bit of money that I spent on these keys that I bought from the Daily Deals, I mean, I'm pretty happy with what I got out of here. That's not bad. So, one repair amp. So, that's weird. It showed a couple of incorrect... It showed a couple of incorrect things because I only got one immune amp and I got one damage controller. And that one immune amp showed that it was a reviver, I think. So there was some glitches on the screen as to what was actually showing up. But, yeah. That's, uh... I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get more drones. But, lots of nice weapons, a few bad weapons. That's not a bad drop. It's a little better than I was expecting, to tell you the truth. All right, now I, I'm not really sure. I think I just got another Redeemer, maybe. And I've also got some Super Chest. So let's go and open the Super Chest and see what we get out of there. I don't know if I have one or two or three or 12 Super Chests. Oh, I got a bunch. All right, check it out. We got a Heimdall. Not a wonderful Titan. I'm not really sure what all I just got. I got a couple things, but yeah, whatever. Whatever. So I got 11,860 keys left. So I guess we're going to go ahead and open some more of the middle crates. The smaller ones. The 100s. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, we got an Ash Karsgaard pilot. Let's go ahead and open 5,000 of those bad boys. So we're going to open 50 of these things. We got Rosalind. I mean, this is mainly giving me a whole bunch of pilots that I can use. I mean... If you don't have pilots, this is a cheap way to get a bunch of pilots. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to complain too much about the drop rates that I'm seeing here. There are certain things I would have liked to have seen popped out more, like the repair amplifiers and the immune amplifiers. That's what I was really hoping would pop out of the big chest. And unfortunately, we only got one of the immune amps. One's better than none. I mean, for, for the amount of money I spent on keys, that's really not bad, but... I am a little disappointed there weren't more drones or more, more of the, the modules popping out. We hardly got any modules, but I don't know. I mean, these aren't the worst drop rates I've ever seen. 
depending on what it is you're wanting. That's the thing. Levi Hickok. All right. We got the Manus component. I'm also hoping that more Mothership components would come out. And I hardly got any Mothership components, which is kind of a bummer. We did get a bunch of Bernadette Wolf, so you could build up a hangar of Fenrirs with that, which is nice. Bernadette Wolf is such an amazing pilot for the Fenrir. Like, if you got a Fenrir, you must have a Bernadette Wolf. It makes Fenrir so much better. So much better. All right, we got the Anabasarap. We got the Warren Outsu, whatever. The Werewolf Guy, Nessa Rig for Raven. So you got to be careful. There's Nessa Rig's pilot for robots, and there's also one for Titans. So don't get those confused. And then our last drop was a little teeny teeny tiny bit of silver so one mantis component yeah i mean these aren't really like anything too crazy but you know i mean if you got some of these robots or even if you just need a pilot to throw something on right even if it's not the right pilot for your robot running one of these legendary pilots is better than nothing so these drop rates were just kind of okay i mean we got lots of bernadettes which was good but Personally, the first one seemed better. The first time we did 50 of these, it seemed better. And we got another super chest, so let's go ahead and open that up and see what we get this time. This time we are going to get a... Come on, give us something good, something good. All right, we're going to get a serious Titan. So there we go, we got a serious. And why didn't that one show like a big Titan pop up on the screen like the last one? So we got 6,000 keys left. So let's just go ahead and open six single big crates. All right, come on, give us the good stuff. Give us the good stuff. And I don't think I got the lucky title. All right, please don't give me a piece of crap. All right, Solid Gauss. Now I kind of regret, I just sold one of those. Now I kind of regret it because I would have a matching pair. I mean, I'm never gonna use the Gauss anyway, except for maybe videos, because I don't like that weapon. I'm not a big fan of sniping weapons, but now I wish I wouldn't have sold the other solid gallus that I had. All right, so pull number two. I am going to get a, it looks like some kind of terrible weapon and yeah, Ardent Yoji. Terrible lasers. Don't like them one bit. Don't like them one bit. All right, next up, next up, we have big, big. Ooh, we got a seeker drone. We got a seeker why wait a second there's there's definitely some sort of glitch here you can see there's something else behind it that's that's weird hopefully that's actually the seeker drone and that's not a malfunction yeah weird all right we'll open another one let's see what pops on out of here go little thing go little thing go give us the good stuff all right we want more modules all right we're gonna get another titan weapon so we got a couple of those uh Titan rockets, not bad, I guess. We'll open a, another thousand. And come on, come on, give me some good stuff. We want repair amps. We want repair amps. We want immune amps. And it's gonna give me 100 platinum. That's a crappy prize. So close to the Titan repair amplifier over here. So close to the Titan repair amplifier. So honestly, I mean, so far I've only got the things that I was really hoping to see pop out of here didn't pop out very much. But I did get a lot of really good weapons for like 15 bucks here. I mean, that's uh, that's not bad. I'm not really sure how much silver I got, but I got a lot of nice stuff, honestly. A lot of nice stuff, a lot of pilots. So the opening was okay. So the question is, what's my opinion on the drops? Well, for me, none of this stuff was actually usable, except for I did get a couple of Trixie Hope pilots, which is nice. Next time I use, need a universal pilot, I can throw that on something if I don't have a pilot for it already. But I didn't really get anything that I would find useful myself, but I've been playing the game for 10 years, and I've already got all kinds of stuff that I need. Now, for somebody who's a new player, you may not have got some of the things you were looking for, but... For, for $12 or $15 worth of keys that I spent, if you were a new player and you, and you did those drop rates and that's the kind of stuff you got, 
I mean, there was a really lot, like a whole lot of really good weapons in there. I mean, that was some nice stuff. We got lots of good pilots, lots of good weapons. We got a couple of nice things. We did get one nice drone, I think. Some We got one immune amplifier. We didn't really get any motherships, surprisingly. I was really wanting to see drones, motherships, and modules pop out of there. And those are the things that came out the least. We did get a couple of Titan pilots. We got some Titan weapons. I think we got one or two Titan modules, but it wasn't really the one. I think we got one of the one of the Titan repair amplifiers. Not amplifiers. One of the, the damage controllers. So we got some nice stuff, you know. If you can go in there and get these keys cheap. I mean, right there you can get 20,000 keys for $2.99. Now, if you're somebody who spends a lot of money on this game you have your set prices and if you don't spend money very often the game will start lowering the prices and eventually your prices will get really cheap i think what it is if you're not buying something they understand that you probably can't afford to so they lower the prices in hopes that you'll buy something then if after you start buying eventually the part the prices will start to go back up to normal and then if you don't buy anything for a while they'll make them cheaper again so people who don't buy things to entice them to keep buying or start buying, they will lower the prices for you. Now you gotta think about this as well. For 12 bucks, you can get two, two nuke amps, two repair amps, or two immune amps. So 10, 20, 30, for 36 bucks, you could get that. That's enough to do, you know, two robots. That's two robots worth of modules right there for 36 bucks. Or you can spend keys. So, I mean, if there's certain things you're looking for like these, you're almost better you're almost better off waiting until you see these in here. I mean, if you're doing the keys, it's random. It's like pulling the lever on the slot machine. You don't know what's going to pop out of there. But if you buy something in here, you know what you're getting. So there is that. I mean, here I can get an immune amp for $1.99 and a repair amp for $2.99. I mean, that, those are cheap prices. If you come in here every once in a while and buy something, like, ba-bam, there we go. For six bucks, you can get some drones and some microchips. That drone's three bucks. That one's four bucks. Well, those are both like four bucks, but I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money. There's 20,000 keys plus some memoriam for four dollars. There's 22,000 keys and 30,000 gold for eight dollars. You, if you buy the right things, you can get some really good deals on this game. If you don't buy the right things, you're going to waste your money. There's a lot of stuff in here that the deals are just like crap. And there's a lot of stuff in here that the deals are awesome. There's 11,000 memoriam for $7. I could use that. There's 4,800 for three bucks. I mean, which one of these two is cheaper? I don't know. I'd have to get out the calculator to find out. So you kind of want to just look around. There's 45,000 keys for 10 bucks. So $10 for 45,000. There's 7,500 for $2. I mean, heck, 10 for 12 bucks, you can get. Yeah, 12 bucks to get about as many keys as I just opened. And if you look at all the stuff I got, I mean, that was a lot of good weapons for $12, guys. Lots of good weapons. So I'm just trying to show you guys that the game doesn't have to be expensive. I mean, one thing about this game is it's getting harder and harder and harder to do anything without spending money. But the good news is you don't have to spend a lot, right? If you could spend 30 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, even maybe 10 bucks a month, that's really going to help your account out big time. I'm not saying you should go out and buy a bunch of stuff because some people don't want to buy anything and that's fine, but you just have to have patience. Like if you don't buy anything, you just have to be really, really patient and understand that it's going to take you a long time to get anywhere, which is fine. You know, I didn't spend any money on this game for years. I seriously, I started playing this game. I think I dropped 50 bucks right away and I bought myself a Lancelot when the Lancelot came out. And I don't think I spent a dime on this game for the next four to five years. Now I would buy something here and there. Like I might buy a $3 package once a month or once every other month. I might buy, I might buy like a $6. I mean, I probably spend between zero and twenty dollars per month i mean sometimes i don't buy anything for two or three months sometimes i'll buy like two things a month i don't make a lot of money right youtube doesn't pay a whole lot so i can't afford to come in here and just buy 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 like some people so i make sure when i do buy something i'm getting the really really crazy good deals because i want to get the most for my money sometimes i might need to buy some microchips or memoriam 
I don't really buy too much other than resources. Like I might need to buy the stuff so I can upgrade my pilots. I might need to buy a little bit of gold every once in a while, but you can get some really good stuff in here. I, I usually don't need to buy weapons or robots or anything like that, but look at this. 10 bucks for a Mark II Blitz with Blights. That's crazy good. I mean, Blitz is not amazing, but Blitz is definitely playable in Champion League at the moment. I was just playing a Blitz the other day, and it's doing better. Like, the crazy thing about some of these older robots is one day it's doing great, the next day it's doing okay. The next day it's doing great. So as time goes on and the meta changes around, certain robots that are older do better and worse. So sometimes you can pull your old retired robots out of the hangar, put them in, and you're going to be like, ooh, it's doing terrible. Put it away. You know, six months later, things in the game has changed. You pull that same robot out, and it might be performing well. So it just kind of depends on whether or not the current meta and what everybody's playing counters that robot or not. So it's just kind of... Ooh, we got a Kefri with Blights. Kefri is kind of weak at the moment, unfortunately, but I don't know. We got a Fenrir. Ooh, yeah, Fenrir. We got the Santa Claus pilot. I would much rather see the Bernadette Wolf, but Invader for $3.99. I've currently, I'm currently playing my Invader and my Fenrir, so Invader is cool. I love me some Invader. These are Mark II, guys. Four bucks for a Mark II robot is not bad. Not bad. As long as you're getting the right stuff. Look at this. Two Mark II Eldritch Blights for $3.99. I mean, some of these deals are crazy. You could you could build... I bet if you took $100, you could build a really nice, basic Mark II hanger that would do decent. You know, it would get you off to an amazing start. But I will say nobody, nobody wants to... Nobody should get into the Champion League too fast these days. What I'm seeing is a lot of players getting up in the Champion League and they're just not ready. They're not ready. Their their hangers are over under leveled. They've got Mark II robots with like level six Mark I weapons. You gotta have the weapons, guys. You gotta have the weapon damage and the robot levels. A, a Mark I weapon is gonna do very, very little damage to these maxed out robots you're going up against in Champion League. So you need to have at least the same weapon levels. I get it. It's easier to upgrade five robots than 34 weapons, right? I mean, five times... Most, most robots have three to four weapons on it. Let's just say four. Four times five is what? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's At least you're going to have at least 20 weapons, right? 20, 30 weapons to upgrade. That's a crazy amount. So it's much easier just to upgrade your robots... But you got to have the durability, so you need the robots upgraded, and you need the damage, so you need the weapons upgraded. The general rule is keep your weapons two levels higher than your robots. That's very, very important, right? If your weapons are under-leveled, you're going to have no damage. If your robots are under-leveled, they're going to die way too fast. So this is what I need. We got Yang Li with Memoriam. I need more Memoriam because I got a couple of Titans I want to put pilots on. And yeah, anyways, I'm gonna have to spend some more money on this game. $7.99, that's not horrible for a Universal Titan pilot and some Memoriam. But yeah, I mean, I don't spend much, guys. I, I buy a few things here or there. I've probably, in the, this year so far, I think I've bought three of these deals with the Yang Li and the Memoriam. I've bought, this year I've barely spent anything. I mean, I've been pinching my pennies this year because I've had some stuff I've had to pay for. Like, my computer broke, you know, had to pay for that. Had some other stuff going on that I had to pay for. And, well, yeah, sometimes you just can't afford to buy stuff. Normally, I, I would buy maybe, like, one or two things per month on here. But lately, I just haven't been able to afford it. But I do want to get a couple more of these Yang Li pilots. Because I think I have two or three Titans that still don't have pilots that I want to have pilots for on my account. Which means I also need more Memoriam so I can put all the skills on there. But anyways, that's enough about me. So bottom line, what it boils down to is this game does not have to be expensive. It can be very cheap if you buy the right things. But this game is very hard if you're not spending anything. It's starting to get to a... It's turning into a pay-to-play game, guys. It's turning into a pay-to-play game. Yes, you can build a free, free account and do really well. I actually know quite a few people who are up in Champion League with decent hangers doing really well who haven't spent a dime on this game. 
most of the really, really good players, though, have spent at least something. But I would say if you if you start off as a free-to-play player and you do everything right, it's probably going to take you about a year to have five good robots filled with good weapons and get them up into the mid-Mark II range, right? Probably about a year, maybe a little longer, a year, year and a half. But the good news is, as long as you don't move up in leagues too fast, you don't need a really high-leveled hanger, right? If you're down there in, like, Silver League, Expert League, you should be able to do pretty well. I mean, you could go in there, I don't know, I mean, build a Fenrir, build an Invader, build a Scorpion, build a Ravna, build a Skyros. I mean, it's going to take you about three weeks to build a robot in the workshop. So, in about... Four to five months, you should be able to have five really nice robots built. That's a long time, but you can do it. If you can probably spend 30 to 50 bucks, you can buy five really nice Mark II robots today or tomorrow or within the next month. You see what I'm saying there? It doesn't cost a lot, but you need to spend something if you want to get somewhere these days. It's definitely turning into a pay-to-play game which kind of sucks, but I get it. You know, th these games are companies that their, their, their idea is to make money. What it costs them to keep the servers running is probably ridiculous. I mean, just to run the servers is unbelievably expensive. They got to pay the employees. They got to pay rent. They got to buy all the equipment it takes to make these games. They got to pay for this, that, the other thing. I really have no idea how much it costs to keep one of these games running. I imagine it's a huge amount of money per month. They got to pay Google or iOS like 20 or 30% of all the sales. Like anytime you buy something on Android or iOS, iOS, they take like 20 or 30% of the money, which is a, that's a lot of money. So iOS is kind of ripping off Pixonic. Uh, Google's ripping off Pixonic. I could see if it was like 10%, but they're taking like, I'm pretty sure it's 30. They think they take 30% of the sales, which is crazy. And that means due to the fact Google and iOS are taking all that money, they need to raise the prices up higher, which in fact makes us pay more prices. So thanks a lot, Google and iOS. You're making the games more expensive for us, jerks. Now the question is, are they charging higher prices than they need to? I have no idea. I don't know how much money they're making. I don't know how many people are playing the game. I can't really tell you if they're charging way more than they need to. I don't know how much profit they're making, so no clue. But, you know, these games can be very expensive or they can be somewhat inexpensive if you spend your money in the right places. But anyway, there's my little podcast rant thingy dingy, and that's how I honestly feel about stuff. Hope you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop down the video's description. You'll see my Discord server, my YouTube channel, some links to some really amazing things, other ways to help support the channel. You will see some links to some game news. Huge shout out to my channel members. Thank you guys so much for being channel members. That extra support really helps. Like when my computer just broke, it allowed me to repair the computer. So thank you guys so much for the support. It keeps this channel running big time. This is like the second time in like, what, two years or something? I keep having really bad luck with computers. Like they just keep freaking breaking. It's awful. I've had computers before that would last 10 years, 12 years and just run great. But... I don't know, the, the current one I got has been a freaking lemon. That's the second or third time it's freaking broken in the last two or three years. It's, it's ridiculous. So I got a lemon computer. I completely rebuilt everything that I thought might be causing problems this time. So hopefully this one will run for a while. I don't know, but man, I'm telling you, freaking computers. Anyways, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Lightning out. Have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we will catch you next time. See ya.